My name is Greg Brittles and I'm a senior magnet engineer here at Tokamak Energy. Over the past 12 months we've put in a lot of work that has allowed us to turn this stuff, HTS tape, into this, a HTS magnet. We've made some great steps in order to develop easy to assemble, scalable and robust magnet technology. The reason we've been making these coils is in order to test the quality of the tape that's inside them. We've manufactured six what we call QA coils, quality assessment coils, in order to assess the quality from six suppliers across the world. And that's what one of these coils is. So this is, this is a, what we call a double pancake coil. So it's got two of these coils inside it. And we test these in our in-house HDS magnet test facility. It's really allowed us to confirm that the short sample measurements that are made in research labs really lives up to expectation when you manufacture a real magnet containing 100 meter length scales, which is exactly what we need in order for developing magnets that are going to contain thousands of kilometers of wire. Not only have these coils allowed us to test the wire that the magnets are made of, they've also achieved some fairly substantial magnetic fields. So these small coils have produced up to 12 Tesla and operated at over 1,000 amps per square millimetre at 20 Kelvin, which is a substantial achievement. We've been blown away by the performance of these coils and in particular their stability. So we found that they're able to be operated at thousands of amps beyond their usual current capacity. And that's really because high temperature superconducting wires are stable operating in this dynamic environment. And also the design of the coils really lends itself to this kind of stability. These coils don't quench during normal operation, but if we do want them to quench, we can induce these on purpose. And what we found is that when we do this, they don't just survive, they can actually recharge themselves without our intervention automatically. They cool themselves back down and the field comes back up and they show absolutely no signs of degradation, which is really key for HTS material. Not only are these coils resilient against quench, but they're also extremely defect tolerant. Magnet engineers often worry about defects that occur in these tapes naturally. These can be small cracks that are caused during the manufacturing process. We really wanted to test whether these things were important for the design of a large scale HTS magnet. To our surprise, we found that these coils are able to withstand substantial degrees of defects and not only be tolerant, but completely stable uh, as an end result. What we've actually done is taken one of these coils and drilled physical holes through the windings and then retested the coil. And these don't exhibit any particularly aggressive signs of instability, but in fact, they just generate less field than they did before because they've lost a few turns. And that's really because the design of the coils allows the current to share around defects in a way that makes them extremely defect tolerant. And that's crucial when you want to make large scale superconducting magnets. What this shows is that with the right design, HTS magnets can be extremely resilient and operate in very harsh environments. Because these coils are so modular, what we're able to do is dismantle QA coils and restack them into new configurations to allow us to test them in a new way. So what we did was we took the best three performing QA coils from our tests and restack them in a way that produces the highest magnetic field. So this mixed QA coil stack produced a peak magnetic field of 16 and a half Tesla, which is quite a step up from the 12 Tesla that was produced at peak for this coil. We've now scaled the technology up way beyond QA coil size, and we've built this magnet here. So this is a magnet that contains more like a kilometer of HDS tape, and operating at 20 Kelvin, this magnet has produced a central field strength of well in excess of 20 Tesla, which we believe to be a world first for a magnet of this kind. This is a crucial milestone for Tokamak Energy because what this proves is the ability for high temperature superconducting materials to produce the intense fields required for fusion energy. This vital demonstration allows us to build our next, much larger device which will allow us to address some of the challenges we face as we scale up.